für Solidarität. Es ist nie zu spät. Es ist nie zu spät, aufzustehen und die Lehre zu sehen. Our actions about migration. And now it's uh, here is the office uh, for where foreign people have to have to come to get their immigration cards and where deportations are organized. The idea was to, to, to storm the building as it was announced, publicly announced, so uh, there was already a lot of police presence and there was not much activity in the building itself. We are now blocking this office for today, but they have closed it in advance and they have a sign they have software problems today because it's closed now. As much as they are there, we will always be in the streets to protest. We will protest and protest till all Oslander beholders will be closed. There were people climbing up on the office okay. and they uh, fixed the banners over there. Okay. And then they, they said I want to they want to calm them down. They, I think they're still up up there. Okay. The police said they should come down but they didn't. The Oslanda Behörda is the organ of the government that has to execute all these inhuman laws on the asylum seekers. Freedom of movement is a human right and we want to make you know that your laws are there but we are free people in a free world and we have the freedom of movement. You cannot seize this right from us. We want to call on your consciences that we are human beings and we have the right to stay in the cities like others. I want to call all asylum seekers that don't be afraid of the repression of the foreign office. They want to intimidate you so that they will easily deport you. Don't be afraid. Resist and resist and resist. We are here because you destroyed our nation. So we are right. We have the right to be here and you cannot seize this right from us. So together, let us join our forces to continue to resist so that all Oslander beholders will be closed. Freedom of movement! Freedom of movement! Thank you. Freedom of movement! Everybody, right? We are, yeah, and we will fight. A ceux qui veulent dominer le monde, le monde some years of preparing us for the, for the G8 and against this this way of the globalization and this is one part of this movement the anti deportation movement von der Politik instrumentalisiert worden sind. Translation on the fly. We are here today to, to remember the whole wrong which happened here in 1992 in the Rostock Lichtenhagen. We also want to remember all victims of racist brutality as well as state deportation policies. policies. Perhaps some of you remember the frightening images from back then and other people will talk about them anyway. The program of Rostock Lichtenhagen marks the cooperation between Nazis, racists and the German politics. The aim was to cut the right to asylum. In 1991, the CDU, the right one conservative party here in Germany, had its election campaign in the, city, in the country of Bremen with slogans like the vote is full and they were uh, propagating against so-called fake asylum seekers. In this social situation, the events of Rostock-Lichtenhagen took place. At a press conference, a few hours after the attacks reached their climax, the back then Prime Minister of Mecklenburg-Vorpommern, Bernd Seite, from the, right, from the Conservative Party CDU, explained the events of the last days show clearly that the asylum law has to be changed because the population is, it cannot bear the arrival of more asylum seekers. The other EU, EU countries also adopted many regulations from Germany and we can thus say that the 
But the change of the asylum law in 1993 was a cornerstone of the, of the European deportation policy, which, as you all know, has by now led to militarized frontiers and dangerous, life-endangering routes of flight. Still, migration and flight is happening, even if the state is trying to limit the possibilities and to create even more murderous conditions. People are still coming to Germany, and we, with the current legislation, we see how the state is trying to react in its own restrictive way. It is our duty to intervene here. We don't. We not only have to intervene against the fortress Europe. We have to. We also have to intervene under the living conditions the refugees who actually make it to Germany or Europe face here. There is. They, they can find no calm, they are haunted by racist laws, they are kept in lagers, they are fed with Essenspakete uh, food parcels. They are obliged to stay in, in their Landkreis, in their residential area. They are not allowed to work and they are under permanent terror of deportation. Here we should show our solidarity with these refugees and fight together. Thank you very much. for war, reason for violence, uh, is economic power, you know, and, and uh, the issues of borders and migration is uh, all connected together. And for a long time, you know, to uh, get the struggle against war and for peace, we have to look for the root causes. That's, I think, the most important point, look for the root causes.